Come here. We decided to take a weekend trip to Catskill area um, to do some sightseeing, a little hiking, and to test out this new drone we bought. And so right now we're in Woodstock. I've been to Woodstock, but only kind of in passing. But I kind of like the, the vibe here, you know. Yeah, it's very cool. And it's a lot. I've been here maybe 10 years ago. And so it's totally different from what I remember. But it's still pretty cool and chill and got lots of restaurants and stuff. Um, so we're just driving around. It's evening now. And I would really like to get the sun, the sunset Yeah. Uh, with this drone. Um, we don't really know what we're doing, but we're trying <laughs> to figure it out. Or at least look at the sunset while we're up here. We're kind of winging it. We didn't make any plans. We don't have any reservations for any hotels. Yeah, we don't know if we're staying in the truck or staying or finding a Motel 6 somewhere. So, you know, um, this should be interesting. dark out we're getting there um, and we're on this road and so we stopped at this hotel called Kate's something motel or whatever Kate's motel yeah. Kate's motel it was and owned I guess by a it's a member of the B-52s yes it was owned by a member of the B-52 so it's really cute and quaint and it's got some cool memorabilia and stuff like that and um, so we went and we tried to see if we can get a room but the office was closed and there was a couple in front of us who she was like on the phone trying to like get somebody because you know um, I guess they were looking for a place to stay as well they're just driving around they didn't have a reservation so they're kind of in the same boat as us so now since there were no spaces we're going to try to find some lodging somewhere you gonna turn around there's like a big lodge in something yeah, so we're driving basically until, you know, we or don't feel like driving that's... anymore. But it should be fun because we're just out doing adventurous things and um, doing something different. So this is uh, day two. We um, didn't find a place to stay last night, so we ended up going home. Yeah. And um, we started fresh this morning. It's and... because they have a horse show. Yeah, it's a horse show in town. So there was 80-year-old <laughs> men and women taking up all the rooms. At the hotels. At the hotels. So we ended up driving home. It was only an hour and a half, so it wasn't too bad. But we got home at like 1 a.m. Um, and by the time we got to sleep, it was like 2, 2.30. And then I was up at like 8 because I was like, let's just do it again. So now we're back out in, we're in Cold Spring right now. And we're by some train tracks. Random. That's actually a platform that you stand on and wait for the train. What was that? It was just a little bug. It wasn't that. Oh god. You know, I don't do bugs. And you just kind of walk through some bushes that way to get to the train and get off the train. And then the water's right there, so it's really pretty. But we're not going to cross the tracks just because we don't want to die. Um, but we're going to find a different way to go across. My younger self would have crossed the tracks. Yeah, but now he's his older self, and so we don't want to do that. I, I, I don't want to do that. Hey, babe. So yeah, this is what we do sometimes on the weekends. We like to <laughs> go down the side of mountains. Yeah, but it's to come and rescue somebody. The Hudson is that So now we're going to a different location. It's kind of like where to put your feet placement. That's always the trick. And not fall off the side of the mountain. Okay, I think we made it out. So now we're in Beacon, New York. And we've found this old abandoned... Used to be an old hat factory. Yeah, I don't know. There's some stairs over there. So we're gonna see. I don't know where this goes. Maybe it's just a uh, something. 
And then presumably there's a waterfall back that way. So, I don't know what this is. I wanna get over there though. I'm not as nimble as I used to be, <laughs> but I wanna find a way over there. I'm glad the bridge isn't rickety. So this is our first flight ever. Um, hopefully we'll be doing some more drone stuff with our footage. We're in straight beginner mode. We even have a little cover on the gimbal and stuff. Um, but we wanted to try it out in an open space so that we don't run into trees and shit. But we did color correct it and I think it looks really pretty. Don't let it fall though. Uh -huh. You don't want to let it fall. <sighs> Help. Just go backwards, I made a mistake. <laughs> Fine. This is freaking me out, babe. <laughs> I'm not trying to get arrested, because... That's creepy. No, just turn around. This is crazy. Exit right there too, in case we need to bail. <laughs> My nerves are shot right now. <sighs> Fuck high school. Why? You have to make sure the floor is secure. That you walk on. I'm just trying to get it done fast. I was not having it. Um, and so we pretty much wrapped up this episode with me running out of it in the building and us almost, you know, getting arrested. So we don't have any footage of that, but um, it was a really, really great weekend. I said it was easy. Hold on. We have it. We have it. But we had a lot of fun. Um, this is, wraps up this episode. If you guys like what you saw, please give us a thumbs up. Please be sure to subscribe um, and we'll bring you more videos very soon. Bye.